Hello everyone. So this tutorial is about C frame, right? So I've seen, you know, a couple misconceptions, you know, a couple of people being confused about like, oh, why do I use C frame and not like position or whatever. Now to just quickly get you to understand something, right? I'm going to make two parts. So like this, so I'm going to make this part, I'll just make it red. And then I'll just call this end. Okay. And then I'll call this part. Uh, I, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll just call it part, right? So my goal with this is that inside a script, I want to make it so that this part is like in the same position as this part, right? Um, and then what I'll do is I'll make, I'll also make this part rotate. So I'll make this part like this, right? So as you can see, their rotations are different and their positions are also different. And I'll, I'll just anchor both of them so that, you know, they stay in one spot and aren't affected by gravity or whatever. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay. So here's the thing. Okay. If I right now make a script like so, and let's say uh, I'll just make variables for both parts. I'll say local part equals workspace wait for child, wait for child part, okay. And then I'll make a local goal equals workspace wait for child end, okay. So let's say you have like, you know, like so something which like when something happens, you want this part to maybe change position and, you know, be teleported onto here, right? Whatever. Um, and so what we could do, right, is we can say, so, okay, we'll just wait for, you know, five seconds. And then I'm going to say, actually, no, three seconds, five seconds is too long. Um, what most people will do is they would say, okay, part dot position is equal to goal dot position, right? Very simple. So if I, if I run the game, Let's see. There we go. So that, you know, that seems to be working. So, you know, the part's position is this part's position. But you may notice that they're not rotating the same direction, right? But if we check this part's uh, position, right? So if I select both of them, we can see that they actually do have the same exact position, right? Yeah, 5, 8, 0, 5, negative 3. Five five zero five negative three. So they have the same exact position. And now you may say, oh, but the rotation is different, right? Well, we could change that as well. There we go. So now we, we're going to change the part's rotation. There we go. So now it rotates in the same exact way as this part is rotating. And we know that it's true because if I select both of them, um, let me see. Yeah, there we go. So as you can see, rotation is negative 54. Rotation is negative 54. So the rotation is the exact same. This is where C frame comes in. Because if I look at this part, right, a C frame is just position and orientation. And position and orientation are X, Y, and Z. Okay. So instead of doing part dot position and then like part dot rotation, what you should do instead is you should, you, you should say part dot C frame is equal to goal dot C frame. Because then what that what that's going to do is it's going to change the C frame, which is both the position and the orientation. And the last thing about that you should know about C frames is just how to actually make a C frame, right? So let, let's say we don't have this goal. Okay, we don't we don't have um we don't have a goal. Okay, there we go. Like, let me let me, let me just remove that. Yeah. What you could do, right, is, um, so let, let's see, this part C frame right now is, um, let's say, let's say we want to move it to, I don't know, uh, we'll, 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 we'll find a place. Let's move it to spawn location is at zero, zero, zero. Let's delete the spawn location. Let's just put the part to zero, zero, zero. Okay. So what I can do is I can say C frame dot new. So this will create a new C frame, right? So if you, if you don't have like a part with a C frame that, you know, you want this part to go to, then you can say the part C frame is C frame dot new. And then it's going to need, of course, because a C frame is composed of position and orientation, right? Or rotation, orientation, rotation, same thing. Um, and so the way you, so you would need, you need to give it a position and orientation. And because position and orientation are just X, Y, and Z, the way you make an X, Y, and Z is you do vector three dot new. There we go. And then you just comma and do another vector three dot new. So this vector three is going to be the position and this is going to be the orientation, right? 
And so then you just give it the x, the y, and the z. And here you also give the x, the y, and the z. So the position I want it to be 0, um, and then let's say 10 for the y, because y is like how tall it, how, how like high it is, so I want, I want it to be kind of high. So 10 studs high and then 0, okay. And then for the ori orientation, let's just say negative 90, negative 18, 20, whatever, right? I don't know. You can put whatever number you want here. And so then what, what that's going to do, let's see. There we go. Yeah, so now it's C-frame is this new C-frame, right? Just like that. There we go. So both its position and orientation have been changed. So, you know, that's that's pretty cool. Um, I believe also C-frame has a couple of various things. Like, let me, let me, let me check real quick. Um, yes, yeah, so you can have the inverse of a C-frame, which I believe just switches the position and orientation around. I think, I'm not too sure, right? But yeah, so C-frame does have its own, like, um, you know, different properties. You can lerp a C-frame, which is... Um, it's, it's going to lerp itself between itself and the goal. Um, so you can it's kind of like a tween, right? But again, don't you, you don't have to worry about that. I believe C-frame... Yeah, yeah. so C-frame, you can make a new C-frame. You can create C-frame angles. Um, I'm not too sure what most of these are, So, but I'm just, I'm just showing you these that they, they're a thing, right? Um, you have C-frame look at, which um, I think you basically just give it a position, and then it's going to make the C-frame orientation look at that position, right? Like based on its um, orientation. So, yeah, return to C-frame, orientation, point it towards the second. Yeah, so basically you tell it to look at something and then it returns an orientation which will make it look at that thing. I don't know what identity is. Um, look along, I'm not too sure what that is as well. From matrix, from axis angle, Euler angles, orientation, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I'm not too sure what most of these are, right? But that's basically how you make a C-frame, just dot new, and then you give it, you know, vector three for the position, and then vector three, another one for orientation. Um, and the last thing for about C-frames, which you might find helpful, is that because they're values, right, um, you can, there's a thing called C-frame value. Like so. So, you know, similar to have like, you know, you have string values and you have int values. Um, you have C-frame values, which just hold the value of a C-frame, which is the position and the orientation. Or if you, you know, you're classy and you don't like using int values and you like using um, attributes, right? Attributes also have C-frames. So I can say name, I don't know, C-frame, right? And then the type can be a C-frame. There we go. And so the C-frame is the position and the orientation. So we just made an attribute called C-frame that has the value of a C-frame, right? So C-frame is effectively a value that's both position and rotation. So if you only want to change the position and not, and not rotation of a part, then you need to um, change only the position. If you only want to change the orientation, then change the orientation. And yeah, so you know, just remember when you need to change the uh, position or rotation of something, just use C-frame. It basically just has all of the functions that you need to actually like. Like, I mean, look at is a function which, you know, makes a part look at another part, so that's pretty cool. Um, so if you're, if you're ever struggling with, you know, rotations, orientation, whatever, that's how you change it. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure what C-frame stands for, I'll be honest. I think it's like, I don't even know. <laughs> to be completely honest, it's like C... Yeah, it contains information regarding the part's position and the matrix that defines the part's rotation can read right. Okay. And th this rotation, by the way, and last thing, this orientation is based on the, the world pivot, right? Which if you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. But if you do know what that means, then that's just a little bonus bit of information. Um, if, you, if you found this valuable, I do have a course in the comments, which you, you might want to check out. And we are back to basics. Thank you for watching.